winter is going to make it tough on me today. 33 degrees. Are you kidding me? Gah. Well, it's cold this morning. I brought an extra jacket because I'm going to need it. It's 33 degrees. Who goes fishing in, in temperature like that? 33 degrees? Come on. I told Chris to meet me about 8.15 this morning. And hopefully that'll be a late enough start to get the bike going pretty quick. Let's hope so, because it's been pretty dang cold the last few days. Let's go. He was hot as Tabasco sauce, man. He wanted it. And and when you think about it, you look at the two lures that we're throwing, it's just two different baits all together, two different colors. Um, but the size is right there. Yep, the size is right there. Man. Good looking fish. Go right under the nose as best you can because you don't want to break you off on the keel. Come here, Bubba. Yeah, I'm used to doing this with kayaks, Bubba. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> You're not going anywhere. That fish is a little bit bigger than I thought it was, too. A little bit bigger. That ran out of the boat as a good one. That fish turned out to be much nicer. Much nicer. It's only eight pounds. <laughs> Man, that's a good red. That is a good red. I'm trying to keep my weight from my trim tabs. You're just so dang green. I was going to try to jump. That is a good fish. Whew. did a good job, sir. Yeah. Oh, I was quick to get to him. He was tracking it, and I knew he was coming for it. I'm going to get you to hold him, and I'm going to take a quick picture of that. Well, I'm going to get you to hold him, so I can take a picture of that. Nope. Oh, by the way, good recommendation on the flyers. <laughs> yeah, those, those, for the money, they're great. Insanely good. I see the one in the yeah. center. I was hoping he was yeah. coming out a little bit further. Go we slow, do it again. We got two of them there. He's still there. He doesn't know we're here. Make a cast if you yep. want to. You go ahead. All right. Drop it. Perfect. There's two of them there. You're right. He oh. sees it. He's trying for it. He's after it. Come on. Come on. You got it. There we go. Nice. 
<laughs> you gotta love that, that boy. Was good. He wasn't sure. That was he good. was not sure. <laughs> he was absolutely not sure, but boy. Once he was like, hey, you know, that thing's trying to get away. You're right there. Because that thing's trying to get away. I got a micro anchor up right here. A little reach. Another great fish. A little deep here. Another absolutely great fish. They're healthy, man. Well, we're at that point of the day where the water's warming up a little bit. of them laying there and I just I mean that shoreline gets so much sun and as cold as it's been you know we're at that point in the day right now where they're gonna start chewing <laughs> trying to, <laughs> to hang me up in me. I was trying to keep the boat from swinging on the micro anchor there I think you're gonna play with it. come say hello those in, in my tournament. <laughs> Absolutely good. It's a good one fish. Gorgeous. Nice. Ready? Yeah. You'll be another fun target for hey, one of my... don't do that. Turn upside down. No, he's going to fly away. Hey. The water's way too cold, buddy. Cool. Man, yeah, they're, right. they're fine. Good stuff, man. Really good stuff. <laughs> is that not crazy that was awesome man you know that thing i posted about the smart cast about throwing it out to a point where he won't know it's there yep. and then that thing swam by and this particular lure doesn't have a tail so it's real quiet Superman or Spider-Man off those. This is a. It's a stud. Man. It is a stud red too. That's a good one. Look how far this rod bends. It's really a trout rod. It's not done yet. good one that's a beautiful fish i'll bet that one is dead 27 or it's a little longer i agree fully that's why i was like that fish is right there put the micro down here that is gorgeous that is a gorgeous fish i'm gonna get a picture of you holding that thing that fish will put a spot on it looks like a guitar pick <laughs> it really it? does yeah how appropriate <laughs> This one back. Woo. Off he goes. Nice. Awesome. That worked out. Thankfully, the push pull kind of just went that way. When you put the power pull down on one side and you have the thing pinned on the other, it usually pops it out. There's nothing you can really do about that. Way to go. Yeah, when you bring them by here, I'm going to put my hand underwater. In fact, I might have to take my glove off. Oh no. <laughs> 
So if you're curious what we were using today, we were using, I had Chris using the TRD Ticklers, both in this color here, which is Hot Snakes, and the same setup in Houdini. The TRD Ticklers is basically like half a hula stick. Uh, so it's a, it's a nice under two and three quarter, three inch long bait, and it's got those little tentacles at the end. And we put it on a, uh, what I would call a weedless with the wire there, if you can see. This is a weedless Pro Shrooms uh, head. It's got a st pretty stout little hook on there. Uh, and we were throwing this stuff here. You know, let me show you what I was using. I was using, this is the TRD Minnows. It's another Ned setup. Uh, this is about a three inch long little bait here. It doesn't have a swim tail, it has kind of a glide tail, just, you know, just a flat tail. Uh, very simple and because it doesn't have any thump to it that's what I think the big success was with these fish is we were able to make the cast smartly to a landing zone behind them and reel it up to them without hopping it no hopping no hopping at all just reel just reel and these baits would slide right up into the zone and they would crush them and we got some really hard hits on both the TRD minnows and the TRD ticklers. But these Ned setups, they're a lot of fun to throw. This is an older setup of mine. So you, you can, you know, this is a good example of how I'm trying to play fair here. This is an old Shimano uh, CI4 Stratic, uh, old school. I put eight pound, this has got eight pound Moss Green uh, Power Pro Super Slick V2. And then I've got about four and a half feet of 15 pound uh, fluorocarbon leader tied to a one, this is a one eighth of an ounce. Uh, it's just a trout eye jig head, that's it. That's how I had mine rigged because I just want to be able to make a nice smooth, accurate cast past the zone and swim it right up there. And because this doesn't have any thump to it, it's just swimming in the zone. I've got enough weight where I can throw in that wind because there was quite a bit of wind today and make the nice pull up to the fish and let them hit it. Now we got a few turn downs for sure, but all in all, 11 sight fished reds in crystal clear water under bluebird skies, that's pretty good. And at first, Chris was hopping this a little bit more because I told him to bounce it through the potholes and do a little bit of blind casting. But once it was obvious we could catch the fish by just swimming it up to them and the hopping was actually making them blow out. We started just swimming the tickler so it just looked like a shrimp going by and they ate that too. I think most of it, and I say this often, was about the size of the bait, okay? How careful we were where we cast and made the landing zone. And it was just, it was getting warmer and they'd been cold. I mean, you saw the truck this morning, 33 degrees when I left. It was 69 degrees today. So it warmed up over 35 degrees by the end of the day. That was good. And our bite really did start as the water came in and got shallow and got warm at the end of the day. It was fantastic. It was one of the better days of fishing around here this winter. And I love, I love days like this. It gets me excited. So uh, I got to get clean in this boat. I got to quit messing around. I got to clean the boat or I'm going to run out of light. But let me get that and I'll be right back after I get the boat set up for washing. I just got to unload everything. I'll be right back. This boat, because it got kind of late by the time I drove back from where we were fishing today. But what a trip. I mean, what a trip. Sight fishing was out of this world today. 
fourth day past the front. Once you get to that fourth day and the air temp starts to come up and the water temp comes with it, oh boy. I mean, you saw it. 11 fish. We caught 11 fish just sight fishing today. Uh, didn't do much blind casting. It was just, that's what he wanted to do. And he got to let me catch a few as well, which is always nice when I get to fish some of the, some of the day. So made it worth pulling around. Uh, and you got to live for these days this time of year because it's the, it's the best time to sight fish. I can't say that enough. It's just the best time. I love when December, January, and February are here. Those three months, it's just, it's out of this world. If you like what you saw today here on Flats Class YouTube, give us the thumbs up and push the subscribe button. We want to bring more of these videos to you. We want to teach you how to be a better inshore angler. And the best way I can do that is if you guys are on board this, uh, floating classroom back here with me learning how to catch fish all right this boat's not going to wash itself so i'm going to have to get after it but until next time keep those rods bent <laughs>